by the title itself you have understood what are we doing today that is change the engine oil of the bike okay and what do we need well few basic tool a ball to collect the uh, old engine oil ring spanners ideally 12 13 ring and a 8 9 ring so what are we supposed to do next well first we'll open the drain plug which is under the engine i hope you can see there it is this one so we'll remove that let the engine oil flow into the ball and then we would remove this which is the oil filter and we'll replace it with a new one so yamaha recommends the engine oil replacement at every 3000 kilometers and the engine oil filter also gets replaced with that so every 3000 kilometers you change the oil and the filter together however i am using a more tool which is not recommended by yamaha so i'll not recommend this although i am using it but i don't recommend it to anyone it's at your own risk that you would use this kind of aftermarket oil Uh, the only reason why I am using a Mo tool is because uh, the drain interval is longer for Mo tool. Well, that is not recommended again by Mo tool, but I use it for 6,000 kilometers, which is twice the amount which the Yamalu runs. And the only reason for that is I don't get time to replace engine oil every now and then. My da daily commute is quite long. Okay, enough of I'll talking. So we'll get started. Okay, that you can see the drain plug. Uh, just forgive me for the ambient noise. There are cars and bikes moving around. So I'll just place the camera. I hope the drain plug is visible. That is the drain plug. Okay, so one thing that I would mention here is it's better to use gloves while you're trying to remove the drain plug because the moment the drain plug comes off. uh the oil will start flowing the oil is hot because i've already run the engine for some time and it's also recommended to always heat up the engine before you drain the oil and the scientific reason behind that is the oil becomes less viscous so it flows easily all right starts flowing and there it goes no let it take its time to flow out take the time to flow Uh, it is not going to be a quick process give it some time and it will flow out eventually once we are done with this the next thing we'll do is we'll start opening up this part the oil filter so i'll just wait for some time and fast forward the video where we start opening this see that it's just dripping so the major thing has flown out the major oil has flown out already so i can go ahead and start removing this but this is also going to be quite messy because the oil again starts flowing the moment you open it uh like i mentioned we would need ring spanner 8 and 9 that's all you need to open this part up uh just to make my job easy i'll be using my machine so it just comes off a bit easier same time you have to make sure that you move the ball towards this side because the oil is going to drip on the floor otherwise so I'll just I'll not open the whole thing at once I'll let the oil flow out and then I'll open I'll remove that I've sold my camera so I'm using my phone to shoot this and that is why it is bad quality video uh sorry for that I'll be getting a new cam sometime soon give it some time to flow out and now probably I can remove the 
whole thing. There's one quick update that I've sold my camera, so I'm using my phone to shoot this, and that is why it is bad quality video. Uh, sorry for that. I'll be getting a new cam sometime soon. Just give it some time to flow out, and now probably I can remove the whole thing. There's a spring load inside which is pushing it out so you have to be a little bit careful not to drop it, I don't like to drop the engine parts at all. I'll adjust the cam a little bit. out I prefer cleaning this part with petrol um, just for the sake of it doesn't do any magic there's no rocket sign behind it just to clean it up that's all uh, prevent the screws from getting lost or dropping them I just dropped one so just try not to drop it place them safely clean them as well okay now this is the oil filter it comes out yeah that's after running for 6,000 kilometers with the last oil doesn't look that bad that up uh, I'll use petrol and a rag basically a cloth to clean this part up there's one more thing I'd like to mention this the oil cover comes with a gasket you have to preserve that it's Sometimes it seems that the service center replaced, replaces it. I have not replaced it yet and it does not leak at all. So when I see leakages, I'll probably replace it. I've already bought one spare, but did not feel the need of replacing it. To the cover, uh, stirring it up, just drop it. That should clean the major part. cleaner I'll just wipe it off with a clean cloth and still this part needs to be cleaned off I'll just do it quickly petroleum petrol that's all just putting it inside that way that's all nothing crazy there again it will not matter much even if you don't clean it because engine is supposed to have oil in it there's nothing wrong in that it's just that I Feel or feel like cleaning it, so I do it every time I replace the oil. I also sometimes flush my engine using petrol or diesel, which I'll uh, probably show in a different video. This time I'm not doing it. All right. There are some sharp edges inside this part not honed properly just take care to not hurt your fingers that goes so I'm almost done the last thing I would like to do is remove the engine filling cap which is here I'll clean this part up and that's all it's uh, you can still see oil dripping so i'll just let it sit there for some while let the oil drip as much as possible and then fill start filling up the new oil before that i'll also fix back the Get filter out the remaining oil from the sump i hope you can see that other side as well you can even crank the engine once or twice to get some oil out uh, try not to start it just to crank
I'm just trying to get as much as oil out of the sump possible. I still see oil coming out so I'm giving it some time, rocking it again and again. I'm sure you have figured out that none of the mechanics would do that. They don't have so much time to spend on each bike so basically they just drain out the oil and put up the new oil. What I would say is yes it does work that way because there is nothing crazy that happens when you try to take all the oil out of the sump but it's just a personal opinion that I would like the fresh oil to be quite fresh that's all and not contaminate with the old oil um, there's actually no problem even if it gets contaminated with the old oil because they have the same properties only thing is one is uh, worn out and then other one is new one so it's okay but still uh, that's how I do it so I'll give it some time I'll fast forward the video a little bit because it's going to be a Alright guys, there's one thing that I forgot to mention about the drain plug and that is that the drain plug comes with a washer which you might lose while removing it so you have to take care that you remove the washer as well else it drops into the uh, oil bowl and you'll never see it again until you are disposing the oil and it would be too late. So please take care while pulling out the drain plug. Next step is to put a fresh filter which I got from Yamaha dealer. So no off the markets there. So quick update is it is uh, I suppose this way in. Yeah, so the spring is on the inside and goes this way and this remains on the outside. How do you figure that out? Well, this way. So if you place it, it basically seals. So this rubber here seals with this part. So that's how you figure it out and you place it. One more thing, how to fix it back. You see this, you, see, you also see this. It matches with this part. So it goes like this. No other way. That is the only way of fixing it. You cannot go wrong on this. Alright. Next step is putting back the screw. Now there are three combinations. There are three screws basically. Okay. The longest one is the one that goes into the front. I'll just show you. There. Just a few turns with your finger. It holds up there. The upper one, top one, and then the bottom. Uh, I'll just use my machine to fix these things. Slips. Okay, so there's a drain plug and the washer. So let's put the washer in and fix it back. Just put back the drain plug. Need to tighten it as well. That's all. No we will the engine oil back into the sump. We will need a funnel, a clean one. Make sure it doesn't have dirt inside it. 
because whatever is in the funnel goes inside your crank place it onto the whole the engine filling one okay the motor has its own way of opening basically which is not bad quite cool you see that cool right okay so that goes that's one liter I have a top up can as well so the engine takes in around 1.1 is what I've observed the manual says that it's 1.1 when you do some engine work but I every time fill up 1.1 and only then the level is reached some time it's not water it will take its own time to get into the engine Again, utilize every drop of the oil give it some time it is going to need some time to flow in it's cold and it's quite viscous so yeah that is the only thing I'll not show the whole process in the video that's understood I'll give it 5 to 10 minutes to fill up I have a top of can I'll top up as well and after that what you do is you pull out everything and put back the drain plug uh, not the drain plug that's a filling cap make sure you have this rubber kit onto the cap don't miss it there's high chances of misplacing it do not do it take care while doing this kind of work that seals the cap properly and prevents vapor leak I'll just put back the filling cap that brings us to the end of the video if you have liked the video do like it share comment if you have any questions and I will try to answer them till then bye bye take care